We have our own truths. Each of us has our own truth. And I think everybody speaks the truth the way we see it. 360 degrees and we can take a view. And I think it's very interesting that um, I partly agree with everybody. And I think the world is much larger and we are trying to share something which is interesting. And why I didn't call it a strategy note is this. There is a country called Uruguay. Uh, Uruguay has today, as we speak, every single child in Uruguay is learning on a laptop called this. This is not a laptop. It is basically, what, what should I call it, school in a box? Not a very appropriate description. No matter what I try to say, it's not appropriate enough. The school in a box, it has 230 applications, 100 books. Everything a child needs to become an adult from age 4 to 40, you can have it here. And that's what's changing a country like Uruguay. So I thought, why should I change the introduction to my presentation? This is the strategy. Another chief minister in India said, to India's education minister, this is our strategy for education. So here is a strategy in hand. There we are. That said, very quickly, I would say that why I, I should walk you through. Oh. Think of this way. <clears throat> this little picture, it's a contrast that we have. And many times when I hear people talk about, they talk about the education that the 4% have. Our concern is about the 96% who are in that little hut, the contrast. Not the one who actually have decent buildings and affluence and so on and so forth. You can see the contrast, how the ratios change as soon as you go to a school where the fee is 2,000, 3,000 rupees, or somewhere where there's no fee at all. I'm a child of a school. I did not pay any fees in my whole life. Was it at Harvard or MIT or Maryland or in Seattle? I never paid any fees. They paid for me. I was lucky. But most of us have to pay serious fees. In India, I had a scholarship, but I'm the same school child, and that's why I'm more concerned about it. So this is the kind of education I got, the one, the top chip, top picture. So, you know, you, you look at the picture on your left side. That's what we said. How can we take technology to that, that group? How do you take ICT to that group? Can you think of it? Outside in the open, how do you take technology to that group? But that is 96% of India, effective. So we talk about taking technology to that group. And look at this. This is, the, this is the divide this we're trying to address. And this is, here is the challenge. These are the people we have to reach out to. So it's a mother whom we can educate by educating the child. And that's why we created a computer. This is, this is we are thinking in 2001. How can we use technology to help every child in the world who has parental income of 10, 15, 20 dollars a month? How can we give them the best education possible as cost effectively as we can imagine today? This began in 2001 for us. We invested 200 million dollars, 70 scientists of MIT, 3,000 engineers worldwide, and 40 months to create a machine, which actually think of it this way. Our colleague said 110 watts of power is used by a PC, right? How much does it consume in five years' time? A PC takes 15,000 rupees of power in five years' time, if you think about it, right? This machine takes 100, 100 rupees of power in five years' time. In five years' time, 100 rupees of power. In other words, if you remove all PCs and put this, this is, cost is 15,000 rupees. It's a free laptop, if you see in five-year terms. It's a free laptop. It doesn't cost you anything at all. It's a zero dollar laptop, effectively. But it gives you how much value? Each function that I'll show you, if I had to show you, just the spoken function. I went to Sunil Mittal School in Rajasthan. And you're talking about teacher and teacher, uh, teacher quality in India is very, very different from teacher quality in another environment. I'm talking about villages. So I went to a school which Satya Bharati Mittal, whatever foundation has, and I went with Rakesh Mittal's representatives. A child, I said, what is this letter? Third grade, 22 students, teacher is standing there. I said, a word Q. I said, what is this? A bright girl just says, Kwe. I said, good. Listen to my laptop. It's trying to speak to her. My laptop says Q, and she says Kwe. I said, don't speak, just keep listening. It took me about two minutes, and finally she said, Kwe to kese hona chahiye? That's great. So, kya hai? 
Finally, she said, Q. And then I helped her in two minutes from Q to Q. If you want India to change from Q to Q, this is a thing, something a child can do that. And then when one girl said, all 21 said, when all 21 said, the teacher said, teacher followed children. That's the message. In India, we have, we have first trained the teachers. 100 years, you can't train them. So first think of this. Teacher is not in the Kendriya Vidyalayas. Teacher is in every village. A teacher in a village hasn't got that education that you need to change India. I went to Education Secretary of India when I said that, that's great. But then I also said, it also changed something interesting. My father went to class with Pranam Mukherjee in Calcutta. So he speaks like Pranam Mukherjee. He doesn't say Varnakula. He says Varnakula, just like Pranam Babu will say. So I asked my father, well, why don't you, he's 79 years old, just like Pranam Mukherjee is. You listen to this. In about 10 minutes, he began saying Vernacular. I was amazed. A 45-year-old Iranian woman. I'm talking about one application. There are 230 such applications. You want to change India? You want to transform people's life? In one shot, you, make, you bring them to seven generations ahead, six generations ahead. ICT is not about thinking from the past. Past tells us experiences. It's about imagining the future. We change the nations by imagining the future. We don't change them, I think, in the past. When I first brought OLPC to India, people asked me, does it have a hard drive? I said, well, why do you need a hard drive? I answered them. Then I thought I should have to find a language to talk to them. I said, in 2008, if you bought a laptop which has a three and a half inch floppy, then I'll give you a hard drive. Now, of course, question C. I said, you were asking because you imagine from the past, if thinking of the past, imagine the future first. Imagine the future first. What we did was, it's a one water power. It's a solar powered machine. It's shock proof. I've dropped this machine 120 times on the floor. I can drop it again. Somebody said, show me it works. I said, it's worked 100 times another time. It works every time. It's waterproof. I could drop water on this. It's dust proof because villages have dust. It's a mesh network. means if I had or everybody here with the same machine, I could show you if I posed five questions, who chooses which group? So it promotes collaboration. It networks with internet and without internet. Okay? It's open source. It's maintenance free. A child can maintain it. A child can maintain it. Seven-year-old child can maintain it. And we can show you the videos how they do it beautifully. So maintenance cost is zero. It's affordable. It's one dollar a week. Or, you know, we make it for 11,000 rupees, but India, because of duties and cess and so on, so it becomes 15,000 rupees by the time it comes here. But 15,000 is total cost of computing. You have zero cost of power, 100 rupees in five years. Maintenance is free. You get 230 applications. You get 100 books. If you, and you get a camera. If you put it together, I would pay 10 lakh rupees with this machine, as if I had to look at integrating it all. But I don't need everything. As a child, to create the infrastructure that this machine brings to your school, you will have to spend about two to three lakh rupees over five years period. Because that's the infrastructure it brings. It's not about a laptop. It's not about a PC. It's not about just putting one piece of technology. So, one minute. Yes, I mean, I have some slides, but what do we propose? I can, you know, this is, this was, uh, this, I give you the wrong slide. This is it. How do you find this picture? This is what India is about. A child, if a child can learn like this, look at the passion in the eyes of the child. A cow is looking at the child. This is a real picture. It's not posed for it. It's a photographer. He, was, he happened to be in Madhya Pradesh. He pick, picked up the picture and sent it to me. I said, this is amazing. That even in a Gaushala, in a cow shade, a child can learn. Because this is Shanti Niketan of education. Idea is, a child should be able to take the laptop home, and when they take home, their parents learn with it. If you just have a computer in the classroom, you, you can't take it home, you don't learn at home. You need at both places. How do you make it possible? By just having a classroom, you don't enable a child. This is about learning. So just think about it. It's a zero dollar laptop in five years' time. If you see today, it's 15,000 rupees, and five years is zero. Just the amount of energy you save justifies it. And who told me, a chief minister? You should tell everybody this, they would love it. 
So I thought I'll share with you. But the point is what learning 230 applications and 100 books, they come with it free. If you bought them, you'll pay $500 for that alone. I, I keep telling people, okay, camera, how much will you pay for that? They said 10, 15,000. I said, so the machine is free. Now you start learning with it. Thank you.